Hello, this is Dan Zimmerman at Illustrate to Educate. I've made this special video to help educate myself and others on the Black Lives Matter movement. I also wanted to support and love those who have been affected by racism and to honor those who have died due to racial injustice. Have you ever wondered about the history behind the Black Lives Matter movement? The Black Lives Matter movement is an international activist movement originating in the African American community. There are many goals that this movement is trying to accomplish. First, the BLM campaigns against violence and systematic racism towards black people. They regularly hold protests speaking out against police killings of black people, as well as broader issues including racial profiling, police brutality, and lastly, racial inequality in the United States criminal justice system. Now that we know what problems the BLM is trying to solve, let's take a look at how it got started. In 2013, the movement began with the use of the hashtag Black Lives Matter on social media after the acquittal of George Zimmerman in the shooting death of African American teen Trayvon Martin in February 2012. The movement was co-founded by three black community organizers, Alicia Garza, Patrice Kohlers, and Opal Tometi. They began to question how they were going to respond to what they saw as the devaluation of black lives after Zimmerman's acquittal. Garza wrote a Facebook post titled, A Love Note to Black People, in which she said, Our lives matter, black lives matter. Later, Kohlers replied, hashtag black lives matter, Tometi then added her support, and Black Lives Matter was born as an online campaign. Please note that as I go through a timeline of events, I am only able to cover a small portion of events and people who were involved in the BLM movement. In 2014, Black Lives Matter demonstrated against the deaths of numerous African Americans by police actions, including those of Dontre Hamilton, Eric Garner, John Crawford III, Michael Brown, Ezel Ford, Laguan McDonald, Akai Gurley, Tamir Rice, Antonio Martin, and Jeremy Reed, among others. In July, Eric Garner died in New York City after a New York City Police Department officer put him in a chokehold while arresting him. Garner's death has been cited as one of the several police killings of African Americans that sparked the Black Lives Matter movement. In August, during Labor Day weekend, Black Lives Matter organized a freedom ride that brought more than 500 African Americans from across the United States into Ferguson, Missouri to support the work being done on the ground by local organizations. And in December, 2,000 to 3,000 people gathered at the Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota to protest the killings of unarmed black men by police. In 2015, Black Lives Matter demonstrated against the death of additional African Americans by police actions. These include Charlie Cuning, Tony Robinson, Anthony Hill, Megan Hockaday, Eric Harris, Walter Scott, Freddie Gray, William Chapman, Jonathan Sanders, and Sandra Bland, among others. In April, supporters of the BLM movement protested around the United States and in Baltimore over the death of Freddie Gray. Also, there were protests for Walter Scott's death in North Charleston calling for citizen oversight of police. In September, over 500 BLM protesters in Austin, Texas rallied against police brutality and several briefly carried protest banners onto Interstate 35. Meanwhile, in Sacramento, California, about 800 BLM protesters rallied to support a California Senate bill that would increase police oversight. In 2016, the BLM movement demonstrated against the deaths of the following African Americans by police actions. Bruce Kelly Jr., Alton Sterling, Philandro Castile, Joseph Mann, Aberdeerham Abdi, Paul O'Neill, Corn Gaines, Silva Smith, and Deborah Danner, among others. On July 5th, Alton Sterling, a 37-year-old black man, was shot several times while pinned to the ground by two white Baton Rouge Police Department officers in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That night, more than 100 demonstrators in Baton Rouge set off fireworks and blocked an intersection to protest Sterling's death. In that same month, NBA stars LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, and Dwayne Wade opened the 2016 ESPY Awards with the Black Lives Matter message. Beginning in August, several professional athletes have participated in the 2016 U.S. National Anthem protest. The protest began in the National Football League after Colin Kaepernick of the San Francisco 49ers sat during the anthem, as opposed to the tradition of standing before his team's third preseason game of 2016. During a post-game interview, he explained his position, stating, 
I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. In 2017, during Black History Month, a month-long Black Lives Matter art exhibition was organized by three Richmond, Virginia artists at the First Unitarian Universalist Church. The show featured more than 30 diverse multicultural artists on a theme of exploring racial equality and justice. On February 10th, the BLM movement protested the shooting of Jacques Clemens, which occurred in Nashville, Tennessee. On May 12, 2017, the day after the district attorney of Davidson County decided not to prosecute the police officer responsible for Jacques' death, the BLM held a demonstration near Vanderbilt University campus all the way to the residence of the Nashville mayor. Lastly, let's take a look at what's happened most recently. At the end of May 2020, spurred on by a rash of racially charged events, major protests were held around the United States due primarily to the police killing of George Floyd. Black Lives Matter movement helped organize a rally in the United States and worldwide on May 30th. On the blacklivesmatter.com website, it states, Enough is enough. Our pain, our cries, and our need to be seen and heard resonate throughout this entire country. We demand acknowledgement and accountability for the devaluation and dehumanization of black life at the hands of the police. We call for radical, sustainable solutions that affirm the prosperity of black lives. Thank you for taking the time to support the Black Lives Matter movement by watching this video. Please hit the like button and consider sharing this video with others. Also, you can subscribe to Illustrate to Educate by clicking on the button below.